I hope I'm visible. I'm here with <laughs> Gabriella Sonia. And we are uh, checking out Confetti System by those people. I'm going to zoom in. Nicholas Anderson and Julie Ho. Nicholas Anderson and Julie Ho. Uh, confetti System, 100 arrangements. Um, now, this is the work, and our initial reaction to it was based on looking at it from above, at the rails, and I would just like you to, what was, how did you initially respond to this work? Oh, let's see. Well, one of the first things I noticed was uh, the system of ropes and pulleys, uh, which actually created the, the most visually compelling part of it for me, mm -hmm. was um, the way the, the lines um, and designs created by the ropes in 3D. Right. What I first noticed was the, the pineapples. I mean, obviously everything is shiny. I think that that's, that goes without saying, but what I first noticed was the pineapple is kind of being suspended from the ceiling. That was my initial observation. And, uh, and the first thing, it was very difficult to come to some type of uh, conclusion about what was going on, what was happening, especially after looking at, um, do you remember the name of the other exhibit? Mm -hmm. But it was a performance, performance artist, uh, Lips and Game. Hallelujah. Yeah. Um, so we came to this under the same kind of, uh, you know, trying to figure out what's up. And um, it was difficult at first, but Gabby first saw the, the rope system. I first saw the, the hanging kind of artificial pineapples. And then we started to come to some kind of, then we started to pull, extrapolate some kind of ideas. And, well, the, way, the, the feeling that this induced in me, which was kind of disappointment or feeling like, oh, this doesn't really nourish me, this isn't really what I want from art, uh, I started to realize that maybe uh, that was the point. The feeling it induced mm -hmm. in the viewer, in this viewer, was actually the point of it. And thus it then be, started to be very satisfying because it was uh, stimulating. To, uh, sort of right. To hmm, how we're not satisfied by things. That this was the second kind of maybe conclusion that I came to. How um, you know, there's a peach, two peaches hanging, two artificial peaches. Uh, I think those are one, two, pentagram, one, two, three, four, five, five-sided. You know, shape, geometrical. Then those are the pineapples up there. Here's an example of the strings or the rope oh, system yeah. that we were talking oh, about. I see how cool they, the sort of design and lines they create. Those are the lines. Um, how can we put it in a succinct way like what we were talking about? I know what I mentioned also, or Gabby suggested that we look at it from uh, downstairs to make a comparison a comparative reaction to how we looked at it from the top. I think from her observation of the, the ropes, I started to think how an institution, the name of this project is also Confetti System, so I looked at the name of it and you know, we were talking about how, um, I think what I said was how institutions uh, suspend indefinitely these artificial kind of social systems that we have. Um, so eventually things that look like they're supposed to be nourishing and feeding us and uh, healthful things that sustain us actually aren't. Um, Gabby said things are, Gabriella was saying things that are shiny, everything that glitters is not gold. Um, and everything that looks like a fruit is not, not nourishing and not delicious. And every flower doesn't bear fruit. Every flower doesn't have fragrance. fragrance. But the important thing that I'm getting out of it is mm -hmm. that the nourishment, the, the, the richness, mm -hmm. uh, comes from our interaction with it. Right. It doesn't actually have any right. on its own. Right. But the way it invites 
us to interact with, with it or to interact with our own responses to it. Right. Um, is where that nourishment lies. Okay. Cool. Did I say the thing about the institutions kind of like suspending these things? I did, right? And you said... And, and yeah. it also really, it really does feel different from this perspective. It's, it a, it's like an environment mm. um, without, without this sense of um, the way it can be manipulated yeah. uh, and, and, and altered. It just seems like, okay, they, they put it like this. But from above, you see like it, it's very manipulated. The system and how it works. Um, the systemness of it, of is, it. A, is viewable from above. It's more accessible intellectually from above, or how would you put that in? Yeah, you, you can see it. It's, yeah. it's um, just sort of on display. It's part of the display, really. Right. But from down here, you feel like, okay, so this is just an environment that happens to be like this. Which to me, like, I get, yeah, I get people say, I'm not controversial, but I'm like, maybe. Uh, pugnacious with like some ideas but I think that reinforces some of the initial ideas that we were having about it and uh, you know down here looking at it from this perspective it, it does it is a lot more um, it does feel a lot more interactive like you feel a little bit more embraced by the environment it's um, submersive um, but I thought that was and I, I kind of suspected that that would be the difference in you know, kind of witnessing in a, in a different perspective. From above, in systems of hierarchical society, you, I assume, people have more access to understanding how that same system works, where the people at the ground level of that system don't really have access to that information and just sort of believe the facade as they see it. Yeah, that's kind of what I was trying to formulate a thought about. Is right. that, okay, so we're sitting here in this environment and I feel much more accepting of it. Mm -hmm. Like somehow I feel like at ease and like, okay, so the decorations are all tacky, but it's a space, <laughs> it's nice. I can see yeah. something uh, really wonderful taking place here. Um, when I was viewing it from above, there was a part of me that was just sort of rejecting about it. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, well, it's just so, mm -hmm. so artificial. There was a sense of this is a is a created space like um, that could be manipulated. Somebody made this system. Right. Sitting down here on this comfy bench in the middle of the environment, I start to feel more like Subject. accepting. Of, right. I'm subject like, to the environment rather than being. Objective. I'm less of an observer and more of a subject. Right. right. And and sitting here, I can see. Um, with there could be a really cool like drag shape, drag queen show taking place behind this backdrop, yeah. uh, in front of this backdrop, or there could be a children's, uh, you know, uh, song and dance review, or like all of the different kinds of um, theatrical events that could actually happen in this space, right. which um, kind of makes it, it it brings about more humanity to it. Mm -hmm. So I think my projection of what could happen in this space changes my relationship to the way I feel about the decorations. Uh, okay. Any closing remarks? I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to be here too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now we should put on a play. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's awesome.